up there and up to this place. So here I go. If I lift up, I have to go again. Six-year-old Perla is showing her dad what she can do on the playground. I always say that she was very direct. She would tell you exactly how she felt. So here I am right here, and you guys are going to come over there and see me come down. She was just so much fun to be around. Perla was a first grade student at Stapleton Elementary. Her parents say she wanted to be a math teacher when she grew up. At home, she would pretend to be a teacher, and we were her students. But Perla will never become a teacher. Days before last Christmas, Perla, her mom, and her brother were in a car crash near Winslow, Arizona. The person that hit us was traveling eastbound, and he was impaired. He crossed the median and hit us head on. Perla died instantly. This is truly heartbreaking because she was going to be somebody someday. She was going to do great things. But her family wants her name to live on. Perla's 11 year old brother suggested they should rename a street that runs next to Stapleton from Orno to Perla. First of all, I'd like to say thank you for allowing us to speak tonight. Last night, the parents went before Rio Rancho's planning and zoning department, sharing their daughter's story, asking for the street name change. Chairman Lyle? Yes. They all approved unanimously. It's such an honor. This is going to be a great memory for, for uh, the family, for the school, for the city, um, to carry on her name. The pain never goes away. Wake up with it every morning, go to bed with it every night. But I think it's an opportunity for us to always see her, her name up there and, and hopefully provide some, some peace. So, yeah. Now, Perla's name will be etched next to her school, her favorite place forever. Go get your hair off, Frizzy. <laughs> the vote was unanimous. One of the committee members even commented saying that Perla was a much nicer name than the original one. And we're told that people who now live on what is known as Orno Street have no problem with the name change. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Rachel. The driver who caused the crash in Arizona is a free man right now. Giovanni Bihar was charged with second-degree murder, but his charges were dismissed for the time being.